of Soto were being closed for a long-needed repair. The engines were sad that their home would be torn up and replaced, but were most of all worried. Where will we go? asked Percy. What will we pull? Their thoughts all soon were answered by Sir Topham I have decided to move you all to the Blue Mountain Quarry, he said. There you might be able to do some work while this place is being fixed up. The engines were rather excited. I like the Blue Mountain Quarry, puffed Thomas. I have some good friends over there. But Percy was worried what his new home would be like. The engines were soon working their buffers off at the Blue Mountain Quarry. Thomas and James were most happy, but Percy wasn't. This place is very strange, he muttered. I'm not sure if I could get used to this. Just then, Scarloe puffed up. Hello, Percy, he chuffed cheerily. Glad to see you've arrived. Are you enjoying it here? Percy didn't want to upset Scarloe, but he also wanted to be honest. I like it and all, said Percy, but it's, it's different than my siding. Scarloe thought for a moment. You need to adjust then, don't you? He asked Percy. Percy agreed. Follow me, said Scarloe. The two chuffed off. <laughs> Scarloe took Percy to a pile of stuff. This is just a pile of stuff, mumbled Percy. Stuff it may be to you, said Scarloe, but to me, it's decoration. Pick out what you like. Percy picked out some items which were loaded into a boxcar. Scarloe and Percy chuffed over to Percy's siding and spread the decor around it. See what I mean, Percy? said Scarloe. Do you feel at home now? Percy was happy. I do, he said. Thanks, Scarloe. Thanks, a buffer. Just being friendly, he said. Must get back to work. Bye, Percy. Percy was happy. He was going to enjoy his new home.